skilled people are right now in huge demand and we only see that demand rising. So the more people in the trades, the better. It's called the Building Futures Program. Its inception came about three years ago. We are on Afton Avenue in Welland, Ontario, and we are actually part of a Habitat for Humanity build. So thank you for inviting me here today and allowing me to be part of this build. It's folks like yourselves who are out here dedicating the time and energy. If it wasn't for people like yourselves doing this, it wouldn't be possible. Everyone should have an affordable roof over their head to, to grow their family and to, to be part of a community and be part of a, a proud part of a community. The boom which is happening in our construction industry right now, we are in real need of skilled workers and people who will look at this as a real profession, as a career. They will be building 15 homes over the next four years in the Niagara uh, region and surrounding areas. We've had the pleasure of being able to work with NEPOM and with Habitat for Humanity to come together and offer a program which allows experiential learning for our Indigenous youth. We had a lot of individuals from Habitat for Humanity come in and actually teach them the essential skills that they needed, but they did it step by step. So they learned the theoretical, but then after the second component was very practical. So NEPAN's helping us get that house built, get and the return of that the Nipan students are, are, are gaining confidence, they're understanding construction, they're understanding how a house is built, they're able to move forward in their own beliefs that they are able to go out and work in the construction field, get a job in the construction field. Where else can you be in a sector of work where you could turn around and say, we built that? What an awesome career opportunity. For them to have placements when they leave is, is of course, very crucial and, and a success in our eyes. What it does is it assists the young person with making an informed choice about this career path. The Building Futures program is definitely a program you want to get into. It's definitely a place where you meet new people, new opportunities, new communications. I've always been good with my hands in building, so when it comes to that type of thing, this is the career for me. They've got all of the aspects of building the home, which I thought was really cool because I've only done roofing prior to this. They also have four credits that are available to us through college, which I think is like amazing because I've never had really the opportunity to get that kind of thing going for myself. So We have a full-time coach mentor that just really helps them work through. Along with this program, they're learning soft skills like employability skills. So we do have an in-class component where we do teach them time management, budgeting skills. Um, and just give them the skills to go for an interview and dress for success, so things like that for them. It's just a real emotional day to see the folks that we saw in day one end up going all the way through the program, being successful, now receiving their acknowledgement, the four credits from Mohawk College, and also placements that they've all received with our community partners that are willing to say, Yes, and here's a career path for them. There's a huge opportunity for these kids, and you know, it's, uh, it's such a benefit to train them and help out a good cause at the same time. For me to see them, how many success stories we have coming out of Cohort 1, it was absolutely amazing. The partnership between EPAN has helped us build these houses and helped us make them affordable, and we couldn't do it without all the youth. They have come together to help us make affordable housing right here in Niagara. NAPAM you know, truly believes in our youth, uh, for the leaders of today and tomorrow, and we want to support them as much as we can.